Hi, Ion here and welcome back to Building LibreFlip. Today I will continue with part 3 of the wiring. This cable is too short and I need to solder on the longer one, so I'll cut off this plug and just solder on the longer cable. <laughs> I'll get some tape. I don't need the white wire, I think, because I believe this is the sense wire and this is a uh, power black and red. So let's just use these. Let's quickly mount these cables here, so this is all neat and sorted. This is the 12 volt PSU, and the 12 volt PSU powers the stepper, which is a separate driver on top of the Arduino, it, and it also powers the fan here. And the fan, I just wired up the cable ends here, so let's hook up the 12 volt part. This cable is uh, interrupted with this relay and is supplied with power also from this PSU. So let's cut up this cable. So this is ground and I will have two ground wires here. So one set of 12 volt goes to the stepper driver and the other set of 12 volt switches the flutter fan on and off. I use a relay for that because I have it. Let's wire up the stepper driver. I believe this much is a good length. And now let's insert these Let's shorten the cable to the flutter fan and let's first hook up ground of this. Ground is neatly tied up and I haven't forgotten the print tube. Let's isolate this. I made this small part. This is an end stop for the suction box. It's 3D printed and I used threaded inserts which are inserted with a soldering iron for the screws that hold the switch. And this thing goes next to the suction box, so when the suction box comes up at its highest point it will then go, go against it. I will use this small wooden block. and glue it on here and I'll just use hot glue because I need this to be done and I don't want to wait for wood glue to dry yep good enough let's put this here let's go down completely let's put this thing there Let's mount the cable for the light. Okay, it does.
This is the cable that comes down from the lamp and I will hook it up in here and hook it up to the relay. So let's strip it to here. So the brown wire goes to the relay. The blue and the green one go in here. The green one goes in here. And the blue one goes into this one, not into that one. This is the short brown wire that goes from the relay to live power. And this is the clamp with all the other cables directly from the relay. Good. Let's stuff all of this back in. Good. And if we now hook up this wire to the other connector, then we can say that we have the high voltage side of the relay board completely wired up. Which is good. Okay, good. Yay, it's in. Now I'll tighten this screw and now I'll just continue with these short wires I have prepared. So let's connect ground to ground. Okay, good. And now in the same order, I will put them in over here in the pins four, five, six, seven. Okay, four, five, six, seven. Red is one, gray is two, white is three, yeah. And black is four, and that's seven. Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. That's great. And the last one is VCC, that's just five volts. And I will plug that in over here. And with that, the whole, all the actors of the machine now could be tested with the Arduino, which is a pretty cool milestone for the general wiring. So far, the cameras are not yet hooked up, and I will need to redesign the camera uh, holders, but I'll uh, explain about that later. Let's continue hooking up the stepper motor because uh, it wasn't yet when I victoriously claimed that all the actors are hooked up. So let's do that. Let's prepare the stepper motor cables. And let's neatly put them underneath here, so they're out of the way. Okay, this is prepared, and like we are really getting into the last stages of the wiring. Right, this is the sensor, this is the end stop we just mounted, and I'm not yet sure what to do with it. Uh, somehow this needs to be hooked up to the Arduino, but I'm not sure how and where. Let's think about that. This is the current state of the wiring. Let's hook up the Arduino to the Odroid. So this cable goes in here. And now let me get some of these tiny, tiny, I believe thingamabob or thingamajig is the official name of these. If you know the official name of these things, please put it in the comments. So let's use this, and I need this end, so I'll cut up, cut off this end, and attach it to the end of this cable, which I will also cut off a bit. Yeah, I guess this is a good location, and always a bit more. And shrink tube. I shall not forget the shrink tube. And the other one. Okay, let's shrink wrap these. What's the verb of? If you know what the verb is of applying shrink tube, if shrink tube is even the right name, please put it in the comments. So that's it for for today. I added some more labels. 
here and there. And this is really close to being finished. I'll finish it in the next episode. Right now I still haven't connected up two of the PSUs, this one and that one. And I will, like, you see that normal small block PSU. And here is another one as well. These two still need to be connected up to this central distribution. And if that is done, then everything is done here. Oh yeah, I think I need to put the second USB cable for the second camera still in. But apart from that, the electronics are nearly done. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. The wiring is nearly done and I'm super happy about that. I'm really relieved this was a big, big thing to do. The wiring was a much bigger task than I anticipated. And I'm really relieved that it's finally done. This is just one episode of a longer series where I show all the steps how to make the page turning book scanner LibreFlip.